Hello everybody, it's Monkey Puzzle, and welcome to episode number four of Monkey Puzzling the Crack Pack. Last we left you, we had just made these wonderful mechanism jet packs, and now mine is enchanted. Check it out. It's got protection four and unbreaking three. Uh, protection four for obvious reasons, uh, even though it's armored. Uh, but the Unbreaking 3, I was just experimenting to see if that would make it even more fuel efficient. And speaking of fuel efficiency, when you do it in combination with the hang glider, it's incredibly fuel efficient. Uh, let's go ahead and switch the modes here. All you got to do is go up and then you can glide for quite a long time. And whenever you're getting too close to the ground, you can just go back up a little bit more. Um, so it works really well. I use this to explore big expanses of the map. And you can see right here, I opened up quite a bit of terrain. So definitely uh, increase the size of this world in, on the server. But at the same time, made a lot of world. I'm really excited about it. The idea is, so as you see here, I'm the lavender fields biome is right here there's the roguelike dungeon and then now we have all this for our backyard and i was going around looking for places that i want to make uh, some of my bases i have in mind i want to make for various purposes and you can see also with the hang glider you can pretty much afk not forever but see i'm actually moving as we're talking right now which is a little dangerous oh <laughs> I actually landed something. Good thing I didn't die from a zombie. That wasn't the best example. But if you get high enough, you can actually uh, hang out pretty safely. And you never take fall damage as long as you have the hang glider on. So, yeah, you can kind of just go back to the map again. <laughs> but, yeah, so there's all this stuff. Uh, this is all ours to use. So wanted to find what was around us. I tried to do a pretty careful job, too, and do a pretty continuous job as you can see i missed one little spot right there one right there oh look there's one chunk probably not uh rendered right there but biomes of plenty is pretty fabulous there are so many good biomes in here i mean just the ones we're in the lavender field and what is this this is the seasonal woods biome and more which i will show you i'm gonna take you a little tour of uh a lot of the things I found in just a moment, you can see I've got all these nice waypoints set of places I want to show you. I can't show you them all in this episode, but yeah, Biomes of Plenty makes things real interesting. There's so many really cool biomes, and I'll show you some of my favorites in a moment. But before we go out into the world and I show you all these places that are 1,500 or 1,900 or more than 2,000 blocks away... I want to make a few things to bring with us. So let's go back to the our little roguelike base here. And we will proceed with that. That was a little rough landing. <laughs> These ender lilies, they act like they hurt you, but they really don't. So let's go on down into the guts of the base. And do I still have it on? Let me see. Uh, we've gone for the update. Let's go back over here for a second and turn this off and see. Hope I'm stuck on that. No, I want to fall. I'm trying to hurt myself and I'm not doing a very good job. There we go. Blood. That's, uh, I don't know, kind of annoying that every time you hurt yourself, it leaves a little blood splatter right now. It's a little macabre. Um, but if you know what's going on with the crack pack, the mine crack pack pack, Back, 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 that we're playing right now. They changed and took off, in, along with the update of a bunch of other mobs, they took off the Infernal Mobs, the mod that make, made the mobs so hard, and they put on Zombie Awareness instead. So the, mod, the mobs, I always confuse the word mobs and mods, they're so similar, but the mobs don't have the buffs that they did before, 
that the infernal uh, mobs gave them with all the potion effects and everything like that. But instead, they're basically normal vanilla mobs now, although they do have a lot of armor, pretty fancy armor, like from mechanism and such. Uh, so they are still somewhat more formidable than vanilla. But now what the zombie awareness mod, not mob, mod does is gives them an ability to track you uh, so when i made that little blood stain here that creates a scent apparently that the zombies can follow and we've got things pretty well lit up right now and it's daytime so we're not getting a pack of mobs coming around us and i've got the dungeon downstairs almost entirely lit up but still sometimes one will find its way up here I had to do the obsidian pressure plates everywhere so that they can't come to me because they would try to get to me any way they could. Um, and when I first started uh, playing the update, uh, hopefully I showed you a few little clips of it, there was mobs coming from everywhere around here and they were mobbing the castle. So at night that still happens. You get quite a crowd of them down here. Um, but the only thing is that uh, with the update and the uh, zombie awareness mod, I find that my performance is not as good. I actually kind of took a performance hit. There's a little bit of lag. I don't know if you're sensing a little stutter in the game right now. I'm going to do a little restart before I continue recording just to make sure things are as smooth as possible. And I'm back with a freshly restarted server. And I have to say, just from the get-go, I'm having such a good time with this mod pack. It is so fun. And now that I've seen all that terrain, I feel very invested in building all kinds of cool things here. But before we go out, like I said, there's a couple things I want to make. Mechanism comes with this wonderful teleporter, which I want to make some of. Uh, we don't have... I'm not sure what all the other options for getting around from, you know, over big dif distances is in this mod pack are. Uh, we don't have Mistcraft anymore, so you can't use the books from that. And it does not have enhanced portals. There is a Wraith node uh, thing that comes with, let me see. The Wraith's Eye and the Wraith node from Zeno's Reliquary. And you can make this and then use it to um, with these to come back to it when you need to but it's incredibly expensive uh, you have to use these empty void tiers and they require the eyes of ender which not are, are not a big deal anymore at all with all those ender lilies it's these the gas tiers so this thing itself would take uh, what's that eight gas tiers uh, yeah so that's not too bad, eight gas tiers. But then each race eye then requires this part is 12 gas tiers. And then this thing requires two more. So that's 14 gas tiers. And uh, I just don't have that right now. So that's not an option uh, to begin with. So instead, we're going to make these teleporter frames. And as usual, I got uh, set up to make them i can still feel some of that stutter i might have to disable zombie awareness because if it keeps giving me a performance hit uh, i just don't know if we can use it i definitely want to keep the mobs being hard i was having a great time with the uh, infernal mobs beating me up all the time but i'm also trying to keep up with the updates with the minecraft crew so we shall see i think the performance hit is the game is trying to help all these zombies find their way here. Zombies and skeletons and all kinds of other bad guys. Anyway, uh, so what I want to make is uh, a way to get around. There are these teleporters that come with mechanism. And they go like this. Uh, they look like that. There's a frame. And then you have to put one of these in every frame. And the frames look like a basically a nether portal. In these teleporters, the center of it is this teleportation core. So that is, I've got, oh, there we go, set up in this crafting station. And I'm making seven of them because we're going to be making a lot of these. I think I'm going to make this base a hub 
for getting to all the other places. So let's go ahead, spend seven diamonds and some pulverized obsidian and osmium dust and all these enriched alloys and make seven atomic cores. And then those can be the center of, uh, let me see, it's gonna go like this. So let's make some more of these steel casings. Make sure we have enough of those. And also, to make the teleporter frames, we're going to have to get into making obsidian ingots and glowstone ingots. And that's going to take us into much better armor and weapons as well. And to make those, we need a new thing. It's an osmium compressor. You've seen these, the control circuits, and so that's pretty basic. So we have a new machine that we're going to have to use. So let's go ahead put that somewheres. Maybe the osmium compressor can go right here. And then we need to give it some power, which, let me see, do I have any of these? Yeah, I do have advanced universal cables. Doop. And doop. And now it should have power. And to do this, I think all I got to do if I is put some pulverized obsidian in it and then it needs some osmium here so for each piece of obsidian dust it's going to use up an osmium ingot but osmium seems pretty common in this world so we're not going to sweat that the pulverized obsidian i made just with the pulverizer in uh from thermal expansion because it gave us the best deal of four per and this is not working what am i doing wrong so obsidian ingots and in the osmium compressor oh that needs to be the refined obsidian dust right and i need to put that's right that's right so this is my first time doing this uh, i need to combine each one of these with a diamond so this gets a bit expensive right now we've got these diamonds we got 24 and we've got another stack in here so we will be using some diamonds up right now uh, that's okay uh, was it this one yeah i think it was the metallurgic infuser let's go ahead and do that is that what i was supposed to do For, oh it's full of diamond dust i get it i get it so we're gonna need to take this take it out i don't know what's gonna happen now that we have redstone in here so for the diamond dust, uh, we can use the crusher, right? Let me crush one up just to be safe. Be back in a sec. And there it is. And let's see if we can do it with the redstone being in here or not. So I don't know how to get this out and I don't want to waste it per se. I might just need to make a second metallurgic infuser so i'll be right back with that okay there it is not so expensive so let's go ahead and grab that and we're also going to need one more cable there's our last universal cable for the moment and i guess i'll just block my entrance for the moment to the back works here and go ahead and stick power cable not there but there okay and then put our device Azo, and then see if we can do this okay yeah that gives us diamond and then here is our pulverized obsidian and let's see if it's one for one i certainly hope not but <laughs> i suspect it is let's see boom oh it's not oh that's great it's actually one to eight one, uh, one of these, one diamond for eight of these. So that's much more economical than I thought. That's fabulous. And like I said, this is our road to obsidian ingots, which is going to lead us to the best armor, the obsidian armor, and some very good things like an obsidian sword. So I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, let's crush six more diamonds for now. I haven't done the math to know how much I'm going to need for how many ingots. Of course, we'll need to get at least 24 ingots later on for the armor. And uh, it'll be a bit of work to transfer 
all these uh, all these enchantments over. Uh, which, or maybe I'll just leave this set together and start building enchantments on the obsidian one. Who knows? But I'm loving my enchantments with all the things I can do here. And that's stuttering, man. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I think I'm going to take zombie awareness off right now and see if that stops it. Be right back. Okay, back again. And that feels much better. I like the idea of making it harder with these mods that enhance the mobs, but I think zombie awareness is just making the game work too hard. So let's go ahead and put some more diamond dust in here. And we're gonna get set with uh, the makings for obsidian ingots. So now I can go ahead and take these with my stuff all over the place here and put this up there, the refined obsidian dust. And yes, it's working. We're moving on up in the the pack crack pack world with mechanism, and there's our first obsidian ingot. So I'm gonna get a f some more of those, enough to make some teleporter frames, and I'll meet you back. And one other thing we're gonna have to do with this as well is make some glowstone ingots, and these you don't have to add the diamonds to. You can just add it straight into this osmium compressor with the osmium ingots, and we will get. Here's our first glowstone ingot. So we'll make some of those too. Did that, and now I've got sort of random numbers of 56 obsidian ingots and 28 glowstone ingots. So that's a new thing. And the other thing that comes with these is the ability to make two new blocks. We can make a refined obsidian block and a refined glowstone block. Let's check those out. I bet those are pretty cool. Ooh, and that must glow, right? And ooh, pretty. So we got those, and hopefully they convert back into ingots just fine. Yep, very cool. So let's go ahead and finish making the teleporter so we can get on with all the stuff I want to show you. So I went ahead and made a, a few more of these atomic cores so that I could make these. I forgot that it actually takes two of them. So this is quite expensive. We're using a lot of diamonds, but we're going to do a lot of quarrying in the next episode. It's all about the ender quarries. So we'll get there and we'll get plenty more diamonds. But there we go. We got five teleportation cores. And then over here, it goes in the middle of all this. And that's quite a bit of materials too. And we're going to get five teleporter blocks. Oh, I just messed up. I wanted one of these undone oh man okay i'll have to make one more i'll be back um but in the actually no i'm gonna go ahead and finish this first let's go ahead and do this thing um so one two three four five i guess we're making five teleporters now uh one two three four five let's go see what this does yep yeah, we can do it and that makes nine each which i think is enough for is that enough for one each? One, two, yeah, let's see. Okay, and we got those 16 left over. Easy enough. And a frame goes like this, the whole teleporter. Uh, I'm going to make this room, I think, the teleportation hub for now. You can see I was playing with some chisel blocks, just playing with various textures. It's sort of supposed to be a wall kind of breaking apart more and more in the middle here. Anyway. Uh, so it's just like a nether portal. Uh, I think we can just put this in the ground like that and we'll go ba doink, doink, ka doink, ka doink. And then is this too high or three high? Um, let's say it's going to be, I assume it's like this. Dunk, dunk. Dunk, dunk. Um, and if you click on this, you can set it to any code you want right now. So we're going to go ahead and leave this at one at 000. On oh, the teleporter says it has no frame. So I must have built this wrong. Is it, does it take less? Let's see. Let's go ahead and go like that. And like that does it have a frame now no link found good okay so it uses fewer blocks than i thought um, but this is a way that's going to link us to any other place so let's like go ahead and make another one right here like that 
put the teleporter right there, which I think is where it goes. And I think this has to be solid. I don't think you can cut out the corners. Oh, yeah, now these links. So now look, when I walk in here, did it work? No, it didn't work. They do link because they're both set to that. Oh, it needs power. That's what it is. And that was going to be with yet another thing I have set up right here, which is energy tablets. These are like batteries for mechanisms. So let's make six energy tablets. And in order to charge those up, we're going to need a leadstone energy cell on top of this assembly. And I'm just going to use the energetic infuser from thermal expansion there's probably a charger thing and mechanism but we might as well help make this one i think it should work in any of them and now i gotta find a place to hook this up to and i gotta make a cable to do it so <laughs> you know what for now let's just stick it right there and i'll do it neater later and that's filling up and then do these fill up in there they do so let me fill up a few of these and then we'll go charge up the um the teleporter be right back okay there's the sixth one all charged up now i think i can just put these in these like that and it will the charge will go from here to here and i'm hoping that these things charged up will last quite a while we're committing ourselves to uh, more power in doing this, but this is gonna be extremely useful. All right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and put three of these tablets worth of energy into each one of these. Got the bar pretty high. Um, so these are both linked to zero, 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 zero. Let's see what happens now. Whoa! Yes, it works, I'm over here. And does it work in backwards? Yes, it does. So we have teleportation. So let's leave these here. We'll make this one uh, 0001. So now they don't link to each other. We want to go out in the world and make uh, teleporter frames, teleporters that, I don't know what you call the whole assembly. If that's the teleporter, and this is the teleporter frame, is this whole thing still a teleporter? I guess so. Anyway, we're going to go visit some of these places I liked and build some of these there and be able to come back here. Also, in back over here, after my little goof, I made two more atomic cores. So there we go. I'm just spending stuff like crazy, aren't I? And then I can get one more teleportation core and the reason I did that is I wanted to make one of these that's why I had made five is this is the portable teleporter so we need to set this up I actually don't know if I have all that stuff let me see is this one empty yeah um, let's go here we'll put this bad boy here and I forget are these these are not charged so I don't know if I'll work with a charge one let me go use up this the charge that's in these and put them in these as well i'm still getting some lag so i don't think it was the zombie awareness mob mob <laughs> mod after all so i'll probably put that back for the challenge and I'll have to figure out what it is that's causing that anyway using these up okay there's an empty one and there's another empty one so, and then those have more power too. Hopefully that, that charge lasts a while. Um, okay. So what was it? The portable teleporter. It's like that. So we got one of these up here below and these guys on the sides. And then we've got this, the portable teleporter. And let's go ahead, put a charge on this guy. Ooh, that's quick. And now I think probably what right click on this. Yep. And I can go to whatever portal I want. So bam. And it doesn't have to be linked to anything as long as I know the code and it's powered. And both of these are powered up. Let's go to one. 
Woo hoo. So we can just be out in the world with this thing and come back to these. In fact, with this uh, teleporter, I actually only need to make one of these frames and I can get back here from anywhere. But I want to make this friendly for everybody to be able to go to all these different places as well. So each one of these is going to be a doorway to somewhere else on the map. Uh, so we'll get there. Anyway, that done. Time to go out and show you all these fun places I found before I use up too much time in this episode. But there is yet one more thing um, I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I already got this set up. Is made these free runners which come with the whole mechanism set. And these apparently um, make it so I don't take fall damage. And I still have full armor bars. So that's great. Let's check out what those did for us. And go out here. Okay, and I'm just gonna let myself fall. Ah, no fall damage. So those are kind of like the long fall boots from the uh, portal mod, uh, but of course it's mechanism. So I don't know if they give me any speed. Oh, that's one thing I will be losing out in on is these had a haste. So I will go a little slower. Now let's go ahead and put these back on for now. Uh, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory, but oh well. Let's go to, ooh, can I do this? Get down there. Oh. oh, good thing I have Featherfall 4. I was trying to get that on before I fell. Let's go visit some of these places. So let's start off with, I was looking for Sacred Springs, most of all. So I think uh, the Sacred Springs 3 is the one that I like the most. I found three of them all together, but I don't have time to show you all of them. There's that one. And then that one, and then this one. And my method of travel is I just press W and spacebar, and I'm moving forward, but I'm gaining altitude. And by the way, these mechanism jetpacks don't seem to have an altitude limit at all. I've climbed to a thousand so far, and uh, got a little scared, so went down from there. But I bet I could have gone to two thousand. There didn't seem to be a limit, and I don't know how the game reacts when you get too high. Uh, right now we're at 490, almost 500, so we'll stop there. And so I can go forward without pressing anything, forward with faster with a W, and then if I press shift, I go real fast. So this is how I get from place to place on the map real fast. So, yeah, and things don't render very well underneath when I go this fast, and I'm also uh, too high probably to see down there. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to this one. I want to show you everything I found in between, but let's start over there at the Sacred Springs. I'll meet you there. And we're here, and this is where the Sacred Springs biome looks like. It's really dark green, lots of shrubbery on the ground, very densely vegetated and then it's got these awesome big giant bulbous trees which i love so and then it's also got springs coming out of these cliffs and lots of high terrain i just love these biomes they're so nice and let me go around and load this in show you all a little bit more and on one side of it over here We've got this bamboo forest, which is also really neat. I don't think you can regrow these. Uh, they're a one-time thing that comes with the world gen, but they sure are cool looking. The only thing about the Sacred Springs trees is when they border another biome, it changes the color of the trees. So a lot of the trees on the edges of things tend to get a little mottled, which is a minor annoyance, but not enough to stop me from liking this biome a lot i've got some slow world gen going on so it's a little hard to show you everything oh and the jungle temples can spawn in sacred springs as well i've already already raided that one of course but yeah right here in the middle of this sacred springs there's this open rocky place stony place and i thought this would be a great uh, spot 
in this biome in order to set up some some things to do some things here so i'm going to go ahead and right in the middle of things for now and of course i can change this we're going to go ahead and put down a teleporter frame so why don't we just put it right here why not and by the way i've lost my luggage it's very sad but I don't know where my luggage is. It's not with me anywhere. Let's grab some of these and go ahead. Oh wait, we don't want that in there. Grab this and this. Of course, I could teleport back with my portable teleporter, but then I'd have to manually get over here again. Or, you know, manually. I have to fly and do all that work to get back. That didn't work. So let's go ahead and set this up now. And it's linked. It's going to that 0, 0, 0, 001. And now anybody can get over here. Whoop, hello. I hear you. Where are you? Whoa. He came through the portal. How did that happen? Was he at my base somehow? That was really strange. Let me eat something. Okay, so that thing should be charged up now. Yep. And let's give it another and another. And I'll be right back. Okay. So it's set up and Nilo Rio is already trying it coming from the base. There he is. There's a little bit of lag. It doesn't appear right away. But he's going back and forth. So there is a way to get back and forth. Let me try it. Woo! Yep, came back through the zero, 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 0001. How's the power holding up? It's not letting me click on it. Maybe I need an empty hand. Oh, there it is. That's oh, still pretty full. That's not bad at all. So let me go back. And what's the dealio now? Why am I not going back? So I'm not sure why it's not working. It says it's linked. I don't know if the other side needs to be chunk loaded, perhaps. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, but I'm going to have to fly back manually. Uh, manually. I keep saying that. Fly back and try it again. All right. Well, I guess it was a mistake to come back. I'm going to go ahead and make some of these dimensional anchors right now because I thought that was the recipe. Oh, excuse me. These are supposed to be um, not blocks, but ingots. Here, let's go like that. And I've got some dimensional anchors. And that's my only guess right now is that the other side needs to be chunk loaded because it says it's linked. I don't know. But I'm going to fly back over there and then uh, we'll see what's going on. Oh, I'm back. So Nilo Rio was able to teleport back while I was out here, which goes with the chunk loading theory. Nilo, can we, let's test this. Are you back at the base? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the base too. Oh, wait, I didn't put it in yet. Let me, <laughs> I almost went back without adding the dimensional anchor. So let's just put it somewhere like here. And this, this will be loaded now. So let's go ahead. Nilo, are you back at the base? I can't go through this portal. So he's back at the base. And let me go back too. And why is that not working for me? Oh, it needs energy. That's why. Oh, it must use a quite a bit of energy. In order to go that far, that must be it. Okay, so chunk loading seemed like it was important, but also energy. So we may need to set up a power source for this one. In the meantime, I'll go back here and get some more energy. Okay, last test. I think this is going to work. This one has power, and it seems to be able to teleport me here just fine. 
This one does not have power. So I'm going to put all four of these through it. Well, if nothing else, these teleporters seem to attract sheep. <laughs> Maybe I do. Anyway, we've got this thing charged up somewhat. So let's go ahead and try it. We've got energy and we've got a dimensional anchor on it. So that worked and see if I can go the other way. Yes, I can. Success. So we are linked to this biome and there's a bunch more that I want to link to. Let me load this, let this load in for a second and I'll show you some of the things around here I really like. And my FPS is coming up too. The server console is busy skipping a bunch of en sent entities. The zombie awareness mod makes all these invisible blocks that are the scent that attract the zombies. And I think that's part of what makes the game lag. And now that it's skipping most of those, my FPS seems to be coming up. Anyway, that's the theory for now. But over here, we've got this neat formation. Uh, this is called a canyon biome. And this is looking pretty cool. And then back this way, back through the Sacred Springs biome, which is very cool in itself. Over here, we've got this nasty uh, Deadlands biome, which is nasty, but it's also very cool in its harshness. So we've got that. And then down this away, uh, once we go past a bunch of this Sacred Springs, is something else. And the chunk loading is still being very slow. Uh, but hopefully the game will get over that again. It's not always the case. But we've got this nice village over here. And just beyond the village is another roguelike dungeon. So it's almost a feudal lord kind of arrangement here with the castle and the village. So anyway, I like this biome a lot. I think I'll do some stuff here. I wish it was all loading in for you a little bit more gracefully so I could show it off a bit better. But let me go to the couple other places that I'm interested in and I will show you them real quick and then we will end this episode. So see you in the next place. Oh, and by the way, I just went through this a bunch of times to test how, fa how fast the power gets used up and it seems to be pretty economical. It's going down very slowly. Okay, so I'm going to take you to that next place that I liked, like I said, but this time we're going to go there this way. Wham! And you got to be real careful when you get off here because it goes down real far. I'm going to let it load in and I will show you where we're at. Okay, I think things have loaded in. <laughs> Enough to show you. I call this the Alp High Point. We're in some Alps. And we just have this ridiculous spire of stone. And you'll notice in some of these places I'm going to take you to, I had a real preference for very high places. Uh, and the plan for each of these is going to be to build a different base at each one. I want to build bases all over this map. And I'm going to use some of the mods to do that very quickly, hopefully and create some really neat, interesting stuff. And like I've said before, the main thing I think I want to use for that is the modular force field system uh, with the Calclavia core, which you can use to build all kinds of fantastic shapes uh, really quickly. So we will get into that two episodes from now, I believe. So here's another very fantastical scene in this Highlands biome. Got these amazingly tall peaks covered with nice green grass. Got some animals hanging out up here, enjoying the view. This would be also a very nice place for a base. So this is one of my top candidates. I don't have any more teleporters with me to set one up here, but I will. So many things I want to show you and not enough time in an episode. Over here to one side is a, a biome called Origin Valley, which is supposed to look like Alpha Minecraft. So that's kind of cool. 
But one of my favorite things about these highland peaks I was just showing you is there's this river that snakes all the way through them and cuts this really cool canyon that stays continuous and has these sheer walls on either side and just goes on for quite a while creating this really neat terrain all kinds of possibilities for cool base ideas so definitely going to be making use of this area as well so in today's theme of very high places here is a very wonderful rainforest peak we got some sort of coniferous forest over here and all these tall spots in this rainforest biome that we could do all kinds of things with and here's another highlands this one like the alps is another very singular peak towering above the landscape below it this one has this big circular valley another roguelike dungeon over there that would allow for all kinds of projects down here farms and such and of course this place up here wants to have some giant glass sphere or something on the top of it we shall see and this biome here is called jade cliffs also very rich with possibility and leaping from yet another set of crags down here we have another sacred spring biome which is the first one i found uh, this one features a witch hut down there and has all kinds of other little cool places. Like just this little area in here, I like. It's the little flyby tunnel with the springs within it. All kinds of neat places to settle into. So lots of terrain. Lots of things to do. I can't do it all right now. So let's go back to the base with our oops, portable teleporter. <laughs> Zoom, and we're back. So that's plenty for today. Lots more things to show you. Next episode is going to be about gathering resources to do all this building. And we need to get the resources to build the modular force field system to do that i'm going to make an ender quarry already got stuff set up towards doing that so we'll leap into that next time and then after that we'll probably episode after that we'll probably go ahead and build the modular force field system and start building some trial bases and somewhere in there i got to start thomcraft and arts magica to get those things going and we'll just go further and further real life has been conspiring to keep me from being able to record when i want to still getting plenty of work done in between though but i've got enough stuff lined up i think i should be able to get a few episodes out back to back and get you guys all caught up and interested and following along so until then this is monkey puzzle and i'm signing out bye bye <laughs>